Right now, we want to reflect on Her Majesty's past. More than 30 years ago, Queen Elizabeth II made a royal visit to Miami. That's where we find Local 10's Amy Viteri. She joins us live with this part of our team coverage. Amy. Well, as so many people around the world today mourning the passing of Queen Elizabeth, people here in Miami who were part of that visit more than 30 years ago, as you say, reflecting on her visit to Miami and what that meant, among them former Mayor Xavier Suarez. She was all grace and um, just a, a wonderful human being. I mean, I, I don't know anybody who said anything negative about the Queen. Former Miami Mayor Xavier Suarez remembering the day in South Florida's history when the Queen came to visit. It was 1991 when Queen Elizabeth, accompanied by her husband, Prince Philip, traveled by Concord Jet to Miami. The Queen paid a visit to then Booker T. Washington Middle School and took in a performance by the band. Then a stop at Vizcaya, where she met local leaders and received gifts from children. Suarez, who was at the Queen's side, vividly remembers some of those interactions. I was the only person that could hear what was happening because I was right next to her. She asked, uh, one of the children from Coconut Grove Elementary asked her, uh, how long have you been Queen? And she hesitated, started answering, and then she said, you know what? I'm going to let you read it in the history books. From Biscaya to Port Miami, the Queen traveling to the Royal Yacht for an intimate dinner party and reception that included former presidents Reagan and Ford. Suarez was among those on board. Afterwards, uh, the Queen asked to meet with us privately and gave us a couple of very nice gifts, uh, including uh, a frame of a picture of herself and a letter opener that we still have. Despite all the famous protocols surrounding interactions with the Queen, Suarez remembers her as down to earth and kind. Very gracious, very easygoing, almost like, I want to say, almost like your neighbor. And, and in many ways... He says in many ways she was like a neighbor. And as with any high profile visitor, to any place. There were some people protesting the Queen's visit here in Miami. Some of the issues at the time, people who were upset about Britain's presence in Northern Ireland, others upset. They said that Nelson Mandela didn't receive the same type of royal treatment, if you will, during his visit to South Florida. But overall, Suarez says with all of the planning that went into this visit, everything was seamless and the Queen herself made a lasting impression. We're live in Miami. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News. Lasting impression, a moment we will never forget. Thanks a lot, Amy.